Welcome to Filmora 9, the easy and powerful video editing software made for all creators. Filmora 9 provides basic and advanced video editing tools with an intuitive interface and a large library of built-in effects, making it an easy and useful tool whether you're making videos for your friends, family, or for YouTube. In this video, we're going to cover the key features in Filmora 9 and walk you through the steps to creating your very first project. If you don't already have Filmora 9, it's free to download and to try. Just click the link in the description box. While Filmora 9 is currently unavailable for mobile, it is available for Mac and PC with cross-platform compatibility. Want to see what it can do? Let's get started! To start editing your video, open Filmora 9. To start a project from scratch, click New Project. If you want to continue working on an existing project, you can find it in the Project Library or by clicking Open Project and selecting your file. For today, we're going to start a new project. Let's first start by importing our media files. Filmora 9 imports and exports media at a higher speed, so you can start your projects faster. To import media, simply click where it says Import Media Files here, and locate the files you want to import. Another way to import your media is to drag and drop files into the same panel. Everything you import can be found here in your media panel. You can import images, audio files, standard HD, and even 4K videos. Trimming your clip. Once you have your footage imported, you can bring it into the timeline to edit. You can pull the entire clip into the timeline, or you can trim your clip by double-clicking your footage in the media panel, which will start playing on the preview screen here. In the preview screen, you can set an in-point and an out-point by clicking this bracket for in-point and this bracket for an out-point. You can perform the same action by using the hotkey I for in or O for out. Once those are set, you can drag the shortened clip to the timeline. Working in the timeline. Now that you have all the clips you want to use in your timeline, you can start editing. With Filmora 9, you can have up to 100 full video tracks. You can move your clips from one track to another by grabbing and bringing it up or down. The media on the top track will be shown in your video, so any media that is covered by the top track will not be shown in your video. You can apply overlays, filters, transitions, and other effects to any track, giving you more room to work and unlimited possibilities for your creativity. You can adjust the size of your timeline by using this slider to increase or decrease, or pressing Ctrl or Command Plus to increase, and Ctrl or Command Minus to decrease. At the top of your timeline, you will find your editing tools. The Undo and Redo tools allow you to quickly remove or re-add any edits you made in your video. Once a clip is selected, the Delete tool will remove the clip from the timeline, but not from your media panel. The Split tool will separate your clip where your playhead is set. This creates two clips, allowing you to edit each one independently. The Crop tool allows you to adjust the aspect ratio of your clip. You can use the presets or you can personalize the aspect ratio, removing parts of the frame that you don't want. The Pan and Zoom tool enables you to zoom into your clip and move your frame from one point to another as you play through your video. The Adjust Speed tool gives you the power to slow down or speed up your clip. Additionally, you can reverse your footage or create a freeze frame of the exact spot in the clip you want. In Filmora 9, there's advanced color correction features that enable you to fine-tune the image of your video. You can use color grading tools such as 3D LUTs, color balance, and light adjustments to achieve the aesthetic you want and fit the mood of your project. Another way to change the look of your video is by using the wide selection of Filmora 9 filters and overlays. You can find them in the top menu in the Effects category. You can preview the effect by clicking the filter or overlay that you want to use. If you like it, simply drag it onto your clip in the timeline. To edit your filter, double-click on the clip that you applied your filter to in the timeline and scroll down to Video Effects. Here you can make your adjustments. To edit your overlays, just double-click on the overlay itself and you can make your adjustments. Adding Transitions Transitions are a great way to create a stylistic flow to your video project. Filmora 9 has a huge library of transitions from the subtle fade to a more dramatic kaleidoscope. Just like filters and overlays, you can preview the transition by double-clicking on the one you want to see. To apply it to your video, just drag it and place the transition between two clips. Audio editing and keyframing. Filmora 9 gives you the ability to edit your project's audio with more precision. 
Click on the audio track you want to edit in the timeline and click the edit button at the top of the timeline. This will bring up the audio settings menu. Here you can add audio fade ins and outs, change the pitch and apply an equalizer. If you are filming your video in a loud location and have a lot of background noise, simply use the denoise feature to clean up your audio. For more precise audio editing, you can also increase the display size of your audio waveforms by dragging them up on the timeline. You can adjust your audio volume by dragging this line up or down. To adjust your volume with even more accuracy, you can use keyframing. Keyframing allows you to set starting and end points for your audio, so you can increase and decrease a certain part of your clip. To set a keyframe, slide the playhead to where you want to add a keyframe, and then hit the icon under the audio level meter, and you will see a keyframe has been set. Once your keyframes are set, you can increase and decrease to your liking by clicking and dragging them up or down. To create another keyframe, move the playhead to another spot and click the same icon. Adding custom titles. Whether you want to create an epic opening title or a memorable end screen, you can do it all in Filmora 9. To add titles to your video, simply go up to the Titles folder where you can find all the different options available to you. To preview the title and see what the animations look like, double-click the thumbnail in the media panel. You can apply the title you want by dragging it to the timeline and placing it in an empty track or above a video track. Get creative! You can edit the text, font, or color of your chosen title by double-clicking on the title track in the timeline. Like what you created? You can save it as a custom preset by clicking Save as Preset for future use. Editing 4K footage. Filmora 9 supports HD and 4K video formats. Filmora 9 is built to grow with you, your skills, and your production quality. As more and more videos are moving towards higher resolutions such as 4K, we want to ensure that you have the ability to edit your videos. Applying green screen effects. Filmora 9 makes it incredibly easy to create green screen effects. If you have green screen footage loaded into your timeline, click on the green screen button at the top of the timeline. Click on chroma key and that will enable the green screen effect. Now all you have to do is adjust the settings to get the green screen effect you want. Sharing and exporting. Once you have finished editing your project, you are now ready to export and share. To export your project, go to the export button at the top in the middle. Click it and the export window will pop up. Here's where you can name your file and pick the format you want to export your video in. Filmora 9 allows you to upload your videos directly to YouTube or Vimeo, making sharing on your social media platforms faster. And hit the export button when you're done. Your newly created video is now available for your audiences. Keep in mind if you're using the free version download of Filmora 9, there will be a watermark when you export. To remove the watermark, you will need to purchase a Filmora license. Filmora 9 is loaded with a lot more features and tools for all creators, making video editing fun and easy to do. You have infinite ways to express yourself. To download and try Filmora 9, click on the link below. If you want to see more tutorials, please join our community by subscribing to our channel. Hey, what are you doing? I'm editing my video with Filmora 9. What kind of YouTube videos do you make? Makeup videos. Which one's better? So my favorite feature of the iPhone is... <laughs> What's so funny? No more treats for you. Why? Because I said so. Why? Whoa, your video's going viral. <laughs> Is that all for you? <laughs> Why is your room a mess? This is what happened. No, 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 no. Yo, dude, check this out. Another late night at the office? Need to work on my transitions. Hey, are, are you okay? I thought he was the one. Hey, check this out. Oh wow, where's this? Hawaii. It, I just arrived like Whoa, this morning. you might want to vlog that. So, what's your story?